My name is Harriet Andrews. I'm from Ireland. I'm a middle-aged mother with three beautiful children. I am here in Rome studying at Angelicum on the John Paul II Institute of Culture course. And even I still pinch myself that I'm here at all because it's just been the most amazing experience. I arrived on Valentine's Day to join a group that were here for a full year, but I could only get away from my family commitments and our business in Ireland for one semester. But I am so absolutely grateful that I got this opportunity at all. I had lived in Ethiopia for a few years and um, we have three beautiful adopted Ethiopian children. My life has been really busy for the past 20 years. So then once this moment came, I was online looking for a short something to do in Rome to take a break from my domestic, my wonderful domestic life. And I happened to find myself listening to the inaugural address of the founding of the John Paul II Institute of Culture. And I said, wow, so there might be some chance to study there. It's the Holy Spirit that I think John Paul, in his trying to help us to interpret the signs of the times through the documents of Vatican II, I feel that it's only beginning his interpretation. This is not an old, stodgy hope from whenever ago. This is a living saint who is helping us to really listen to, the, to what's at the heart of the message of, of truth and conscience and how our societies are emerging as truthful, conscientious. Societies that are based more on the communion, the human people together. And I'd love to be asked about this in another year's time because I feel I'm only beginning a reflection on what's going to be an extraordinary experience. So if anybody is listening to this and might be thinking about studying um, at this institute, all I can say is give it a 100% wholehearted recommendation. It has completely exceeded my expectations. Well, the group were amazing. The academic um, people were extraordinary. John Paul, we saw he had so many people around him towards the end of his life from all generations. And our current Pope Francis is really taking that message of solidarity and communion further again. So to all of you who might be thinking about it, just don't think too hard. If you can at all, ask the Holy Spirit and come.